Hello there. How are you today? Today we will look at an interesting little module. The ODLPG from KV Synth. Don't judge this module by its size. The module can achieve great things despite of its 4 HP. It is a percussive module with a punk mentality, in between a VCA and a gate, with an overdrive curve. You can even achieve some wave folding with it. This very useful, low cost module is also available in DIY kit. It is the perfect project for those afraid to step into the DIY thing. With only 25 parts to solder, and the amount of good soldering tutorials available, there's no reason to turn down this opportunity. So enough talk. Let's check out some simple patch and make some noise. A nice trick with the ODLPG, is that the module can generate interesting clicks without any signal at its input. Simply send a trigger, or a gate to the CV input. Make some little adjustments with the overdrive knob. There is a bit of sound limitation here, but those clicks will get along well, with other percussive sounds. Now let's send the signal of this subway oscillator, also from KV Synth, to the signal input of the ODLPG. The module will react to the gate length of the Stilson hammer. The overdrive knob will add more aggressivity to the sound. Let's add a kick to follow this little glitchy sequence. The ODLPG is also a great tool for glitchy stuffs and for ratcheting. This module can be a nice addition for any fan of percussion or for some with HP restrictions. Now instead of a trigger, we will send an envelope to the CV input. It seems like the ODLPG becomes unpredictable when it is exposed to long decay envelopes, and this is good. The module transforms into a crackling glitchy generator, or something like that. Also when the audio signal is very complex, more unpredictability becomes audible. It can be interesting, to pass the audio signal, to an attenuator first. You'll get more control over the hard clipping. So I'm using the tool, a useful utility module, also from KV Synth. Why not using another envelope to the CV input of the subway? Explore some adjustments with all the parameters, and the overdrive knob, and you'll get some nasty unpredictable textures. Although it may not be meant for that in the first place, the ODLPG can be operate like some kind of glitchy wave folding. 
with a step sequencer, send the proper amount of voltage, barely enough to open its VCA. With some careful fine tuning, you will be strangely processing the audio signal. The overdrive also needs to be properly adjusted. I'm using the Bufflight to slew a bit the incoming CV signal. This module is also from KV Synth. Seems like this works best with simple waves like a sine wave. More complex wave shapes seems to bring gritty chaos. With a second thought, this can be a good thing after all. This secret trick adds another layer of fun to this small module. It will be very handy for scoring my drone collection I can tell you. Well, I could have continued like this all day. I must admit I was a bit surprised how this 4 HP module behave. This is not your classic traditional boring VCA, even if you can get some clean sound out of it. But it would be wasting all of its punk aggressivity. And for the ridiculous price of 39 euros as a DIY kit, you get a lot for your money, don't you think? I hope I have convinced some of you to step into this amazing DIY thing. Rewarding, and economic. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you for watching.